I want to say first is that the, the housing associations right across the city of Belfast are doing marvellous, life-saving, transformational work. Uh, if there's any duty upon all of us in, in this society uh, to provide for those that are less well off, uh, number one has to be provide a home, put, put a roof above people's heads. And over the last 40 years I've seen across the city, uh, certainly in West Belfast, South Belfast, I've seen the housing associations respond admirably to the demand for housing and we've seen that right into in the market we have a Chinese uh, development for, for the Chinese minority. Uh, I've seen it for the homeless, I've seen it for those who who are afflicted by alcoholism, the great work of Stella Maris does. So uh, for me if we have to start really uh, pointing to the great assets and treasures of Belfast, the work of the housing associations is, is up there and I want to commend that. Uh, so that's the first thing. Secondly, the Supporting People programme is, is the foundation upon which the housing associations flourish and blossom. Uh, they, uh, through the Supporting People program, the housing associations are looking out for those who are less well off, for those who are on the margins. Uh, there are over 800 different programs administered on the Supporting People program. So our problem is this, that the budgets have been frozen, uh, that really in real terms that means that people are uh, making do with less. Uh, do we believe those at the bottom should have to do with less? Uh, no, we don't. We believe that they should be uh, treated equally, fairly and justly. So I'd like to see the Supporting People uh, programme continue. Uh, I'm confident that the new Minister, Minister Storey, wants to see that as well. Uh, but it's imperative upon all of us, not only those in political life, but uh, it's imperative upon civic leaders to speak out on behalf of uh, the Supporting People programme and make sure it goes from strength to strength.